What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Eric Flo. Let's talk about, for me, let's talk about women, right? Now, a lot of them, let's just keep it a buck, they slow and delusional. I don't even know, bro, because like, let's just talk about some things, right? So today, earlier, I got a little triggered. I'm in the middle of doing my Uber Eats, right? And I lost my Uber bag, I'm shit. Now I gotta do deliveries holding the bag like this, so that's tough. But um, tell me how I'm seeing this couple, right? Dude walking down the block with his shorty, holding her hand and all that. Can't help but notice that she got, not only do she got booty shorts on, not only, but you can also see, it's the one of them booty shorts where you can see the bottom of her joint, like you can see what's up. And it's like, it's women out here that are really trying to make dudes feel like they insecure for telling her about herself. Like, like yo, listen, let's say I'm in a crib with shorty, and that's my shorty. And I tell her, I'm like, yo, you probably shouldn't go out there dressed like that. There's a lot of women out here that the first thought that's going to process through their mind is... The first thought that's going to process through their mind is, oh, we don't want other men looking at me like they want me. What? Why are you thinking about... And let me tell you something else. This is the real. This is my perspective, right? If you in a relationship and your girl still want to come outside with a caked up face, makeup crazy, that means she don't really rock with you, right? That means she ain't really trying to be longevity with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me be real. My baby moms and I was with her um, back in, we was like a year in a relationship at this time. And I don't remember when, it might've been like 2017. I used to tell her, cause it used to be annoying. Like, see me, I'm a very like sensual person with my girl, right? I like, I might want to kiss all over your face. I might just want to lick your face. I might want to lick your lips. I don't know, I be doing weird stuff sometimes. But then when she got a caked up face, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, you could tell a lot of them be moving like they trying to protect the cake on their face. It's mad weird, like you walk around here moving like a mannequin, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I could get this stuff in the store, but then as soon as I touch the mannequin, it's like, oh, listen, hey, yeah, yeah, you can't say it. That's what it feel like being in a relationship with a girl that want to cake her face up all day. Like, that's mad whack. Like, okay, I could get it maybe if you single and you want to be appealing. Okay, that's understandable, I guess. It's still whack seeing it because you can't help but think like, yo, how is it that you don't, you're going to tell me that you're not insecure as a woman, right? But you wake up every morning for 45 minutes, 30 minutes in the mirror covering your face trying to make yourself look more pretty. And you do it every day. Shout out to those that got jobs. Shout out to those that just be around and you might see the same women. Like, let's say you at your job, right? You work at Starbucks. And the girl at your job, if she come to work every day with her face caked up, she's insecure. That is my opinion. Right? And I feel like enough men is not speaking on this. And that's why they think it's okay because too many of y'all are afraid to hurt their feelings. Too many of y'all are afraid to lose your chance of being able to rock with her. Like, and don't get me wrong, a lot of women is really, really like sensitive and insecure to the point where like they try to play with you now, like, like, oh, and maybe do some funny ish, like try to like get low on you, act like they don't want to talk to you no more. Or like, who are you to tell her what she should be doing? And as soon as you conform to that, she's not even gonna respect you. Because low key, low key, low key, a lot of women, depending on how much she like you, she wouldn't mind listening to you, bro. She wouldn't mind you telling her what to do. Let's say you that five star man to her, and you tell her, yo, baby, I don't, you don't need to wear that, you beautiful without that. She gonna stop. You cracking it right? She feel like you, you checking off all of the, at least most of the things off her list. That's why you need to start figuring out little ways to figure out and, and, and peep if shorty really like you or not. If she don't really care to listen to you when you tell her certain things or how you feel about certain things, 
that's not just shorty. That's some temporary little situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, immediately, like, okay, so I told you don't wear makeup because I feel like you look good without it. And you still want to come outside with makeup on. Why? If you with me and I feel like you valid without it, you still want to come outside and impress somebody. You still want to see your options and all that. That's immediately how I'm going to take that. That's immediately how I'm going to take that. And it's crazy that... Let's talk about something else real quick. It's crazy that, yo, people be watching me record my videos like I'm somebody fake. Like, you never... God, like, why are you staring at me while I'm recording, bro? It's mad. Weird. Shorty in the car walking by this staring at me record like you've never seen somebody with an iPhone in front of their face like you don't be in your crib watching a million videos like oh my god look somebody's actually making a video I get to see a video in the making oh my god I don't know what you come on bro you messing up my flow imagine you let's go back to dude right like I said earlier dude was with his girl holding his her hand acting mad normal like her whole behind is not out in them booty shorts. How is you letting your girl come out there like that? You is, I don't even know what to call you, but it made me mad that you was just, it, it, it be dudes like that, that be the real issue. They the real issue. Because it's dudes out here that allow women to just do what they want to do, right? And it starts to make women maybe feel lazy. Like, oh, it's men out here that won't. I won't have to do too much. I won't have to like really change or whatever. But deep down, they're gonna want that man still. It's like they be confusing themselves. Deep down, they always gonna be attracted to the man that's dominant, that they would wanna listen to, to like, feel me, keep him around. But a lot of women be so insecure, they'd much rather sometimes settle for a dude that is like low self-esteem, that's not really gonna talk his talk and let her know about herself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they walk around like they are secure, but all it's gonna take for you to do is tell them one thing about they self and all it's, it's gonna break loose. All H-E-L is gonna break loose. And that's how you know the security of somebody. How well can they take your constructive criticism? If somebody, if you talk to see a shorty and you try to give her some constructive criticism about herself and she immediately start maybe trying to attack you or or like she like what like or you feel like she don't really care she don't take you serious you better you better get rid of that you better get rid of that because there's some toxic women out here get so crazy bro there's some toxic women out here that just uh not act like they don't care about what you're saying see how firm you willing to stand on your ground like oh word you know okay you don't care about my plan but yes you want to be in a relationship i right, bet see you goodbye and then when you show them that, then just wait, wait around and see what happens. Wait around and see what happens. She might end up hitting you up. Like me and bro was just talking about this. Like he got this little shorty that's toxic, got mad at him because she felt like he um, had the phone muted for a minute and they got into a toxic argument. He, he swerved, he wasn't trying to argue. Guess what? She hits him up a couple days later. Like, oh, I miss you, we should link up. You know what I'm saying? They respect it. They like they. That's the but. That's how you show a woman you have an abundance mindset. When like yeah, you like her. You know she pretty. Your crack. You'll get the stupid rock when you try, when you ready to hit it. All that. But at the end of the day though, it's principles. New message from Leora K. Are you here? Yeah. What block I'm on right now? No, I ain't here. Y'all heard that? I'm saying I'm in the middle of a court. My vid like. But yeah, let me, let me like start wrapping this up though. Like, I feel like at the end of the day, right? If I'm telling you, don't be coming outside dressed a certain type of way. You got to think that at the end of the day, a man is meant to what? Provide and protect. Like put one and two together. Maybe I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have to put my life on the line because you want to go out your way and be all, what if somebody woke up on us and disrespect us because they can't control their lust and you, and you, walk around like that now imagine how stupid i'm gonna feel some dude walk up on you be disrespectful i gotta beat him up i gotta get arrested for that and you probably still gonna you probably gonna be bragging about how oh you know he did this he did that but you putting me in danger like you have no consideration 
Why do it have to be about, oh, why he don't, he probably don't want other men to be. And then they'll say something like, oh, but men gonna look at me anyway, though. But why you gonna make it easy for them, though? Yeah, men gonna look at you anyway. You right, but like, why you showing it to them, though? Why you outside with shoot through spandex with a thong? Why you outside with just clothes that you know when you looking in the mirror, your, your jeans so skin tight, you know what I'm saying, where it, it show, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even trying to do all that because like, of course, like you, you can wear your jeans and all that, but it's like, come on, man. Like see-through spandex, booty shorts, a sundress with thong on. Like, come on, bro. Like you, you asking for it, like you want it. It's like, you'll get to the point where you start to realize they literally feed off of like, just other dudes wanting them in that way. Just to take their energy because it's like, they lack something to the point where they always have to come outside a certain type of way to gain something from other people and try to get it from as many people as possible, which is why they're willing to go to extreme lengths to get it. That's how I feel, right? Like, I'm not trying to put my life in danger. I'm not I'm not putting my life in danger. Like, that's what you're going to do. And I tell you about that, and you don't want to change that, that's an issue. That's a big problem. And I'm the type of person that once I feel like you like I'm not gonna feel like I'm gonna be attracted to you no more, bro. That's just how I'ma feel. Like, oh well, like you really think you really think it's a game. Like you really think like I'm gonna tell you how I feel about something just because you told me that you don't wanna do that, like I'ma respect that and be like, oh okay, you right. I mean it's really it's really dudes out here that that move that way though. You know what I'm saying? And that's why like a lot of women don't take dudes seriously because they just feel like you bluffing. You know what I'm saying? Like you trying to have some sort of control, but then she know at the end of the day, like, oh, he not gonna wanna probably lose me or something like that. So they try maybe, they try to maybe like test their powers and all that. But I'm gonna tell you something, right? If a shorty really care about you and really rock with you, she would never wanna come outside getting attraction from other dudes because she's completely invested in you. Or, you know what I'm saying? Even if she, she might throw something on and, and ask you like, oh, what you think about this? If she feel any, at any point, your vibe is telling her like, even if you don't say it, your vibe might just say it like, like you might not even do that. You might even do the face expression. Your vibe just might say, you know, immediately she gonna be like, you know, thinking about why she should change it. Or she gonna immediately think about another outfit to wear immediately. That's how you know a shorty really rock with you. She probably, let's say for example, she probably asked her, yo, what you think about this? A lot of women that ask you questions with the answer in the question. She might have looked at him and be like, what you think about this? Is this too much? Like, is this, you know what I'm saying? Or like, she might have asked him like, oh, how you feel about it? It's okay, it's hot, mm -hmm. He might be like, eh, you know, some white guy. He might be like, eh. And then she might be like, and then she'll ask him again like, oh, what, it's too much or something? Like, what? Just trying to make you feel like if you tell her, yeah, like it's gonna be a problem, so that now you trying to avoid issues so she'll make you, she'll try to just, you know, like literally on some daddy type ish, like she'll just want you to treat her like you her father, but like one of them fathers that like give their daughter whatever they want because they don't want their daughter to be upset. You know what I'm saying? Don't be afraid to stand your ground with a female. As soon as she do all that, just get low, bro. That's our, that's our power. That's how we consume power. Or like, that's how we, um assume dominance over a woman show them that if they do something that you feel like is out of line you ready to leave immediately try not to argue as much as you possibly can just be ready to go you know what i'm saying as soon as they doing all that that's when the dude post immediately like you know what i'm not feeling it today i think i'm a you know and let her and 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 that's how you also you know it might sound messy that's how you train your girl about what type of person you are like how you expect like it's like a lot of the disrespect that a lot of y'all dudes be getting in y'all relationship, it come from you not standing your ground so that she can have a proper perspective about who you are as a person, what you like, what you don't like, to the point where y'all might have to have those type of maybe arguments where she just see like, okay, I got, then she'll get a feel for you after a while, be like, okay, I know he probably didn't like this. Or, and then you know she'll get a feel of your energy. So that, four, 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 that's tough. But you know what I'm saying? like. This is whack though because like <laughs> try to make you feel like you insecure. Like so you so so basically New message from Leora K. Are you coming? This person hungry. Let me hurry up and do this.
it's crazy that so pretty much you saying i'm gonna end it off like this pretty much you saying if a dude is insecure because he don't want you to dress a certain type of way to get sexual energy from a bunch of men that he got to deal with that and make him feel cringe or make him feel like he got to be more on point to like make sure nobody disrespecting and all that like dudes don't want all that attention especially real ones so you pretty much saying i'm i'm secure because i'm cool with dudes looking at you like they want to crack and you right next to me you know what i'm saying like and i'm and i'm supposed to be cool with that you getting unnecessary sexual attention yo bro we're gonna talk more about this so i gotta hurry up and do this delivery this person hungry i'm out peace bro